the end zone. We're cruising through the season. It is week nine. All finals on the ticker below. Got to thank Fuddruckers on Slide Road feeding our staff for years before we get out the games. Thank you, Daniel and Mickey at Fuddruckers. Back to the Friday night highlights. Number eight, Bushland, as I talked about earlier, at shallow water. After a shallow water turnover, the Falcons go to the air. Ty Parcell finding Tanner Adams. Hauling it in at 7 nothing Bushland. Shallow water coming right back. Clayton Vincent, 30 yard field goal. He's money at 7-3. Then down 14-3, start in the third. Shallow water gets the ball, but they lose it. Taggart thrash with a scoop and score. 17 seconds into the third. It's 21-3. Later, Ethan Fuentes, the TD1 run, Bushland wins it 35 to 3. Number 9, Littlefield at Abernathy. Antelopes jump out early. Rolando Martinez from a yard out, 6 0 Abernathy. Second quarter, Martinez taking it again, 12 0 Antelopes. Later in the second, the direct snap to Martinez. He's in for another score, 26 0 Abernathy. In the third, up 34 0. Martinez motoring 29 yards for the score. Abernathy with a shocking 48 0 win over number nine, Littlefield. Roosevelt on the road at Idaloo. Wildcats up 14-0 in the third in this one. Nathan Caceres decides to run the option on fourth down, pitching it back to, to Sebastian Sandoval. Gets the first down. Eagles still with the ball. Fourth down again. Sandoval rolling out. Going to go to Brom Raven, trying to get the first down, but he can't. Idaloo takes over, and they run out the clock. Idaloo, huge win over Roosevelt. 14-0. Highland Park out at Farwell. Steer quarterback Jonathan Armstrong going to run it and get some help. He's going to end up getting down to the goal line and then some of his friends pushing him in. It's a touchdown. Farwell going for two and they're going to give it to Corey Stancil. This kid is incredible. Gets in for the two-point conversion. Later Armstrong through the air. Stancil hauling it in. The guy's a beast. Farwell holds off Highland Park. 56-32. Olton on the road at New Deal. Second half. Olton down 35-14. Uh, the handoff going to R Ramondo Ramirez. Look at the, the QB keeper. He keeps it. Look at him go all the way into the end zone. New Deal punches the ball out though. Dalton Martin with the recovery. What a turn of events there. A few plays later, the Lions looking to take advantage. Dallas Sumner looking over the middle. The pass to Aiden Segura into the end zone. Aiden got the touchdown. Olton not done. Isaiah Ruiz, look at these moves. He's off to the races. He's going to be brought down just shy of the 20. A few plays later, Ramondo Ramirez looking downfield, throwing one over the shoulder to Jimmy Munoz, but in the end, New Deal wins this one, 56-21. Post at sundown. Roughnecks with a big play right off the start. Ricky Melendez gonna find a hole, go 53 yards. He'll be brought down at the five. Sundown, knock, knock, knocking on the door from there. Caleb Clawson taking it in. It's 6-0 Sundown. Ensuing kickoff. Post, can't wait to get the ball, but it's mishandled. Trevor Bridges leaping on the hot potato. The Roughnecks back in business. And Ricky Melendez, 18 yards for the scamper for another touchdown. Sundown wins it 32-19 over post. Bovina visiting Hale Center. Mustangs looking to strike first. Daniel Herrera to Michael Nito on the quick screen. First down. Next play. Herrera going to keep it. Go run it into the end zone. Mustangs get the two-point conversion. Bovina up 8-0. Still in the first. Owls looking to strike back. Aiden Baldridge dropping back. Can't find a receiver. Look at him dance somehow. Gets his way out of the pocket. Tosses it to Cade Sierra. Shucking a tackle. And look at him fly into the end zone. The Owls also get the two-pointer. Hale Center gets the win. 38-17. Sudan on the road at Crosbyton. Crosbyton with the ball. Dylan Doss rolling out, throwing an absolute dime to David Scott. Juking a Hornet defender right out of his shoes. Big gain. 
for the Chiefs. Sudan with the ball in the red zone. Trent, uh, Trent Wilson pitching the Marcelo King, trotting in with ease. And then Sudan with the ball again. Deep shot to Jabrin Or Ornealis. The Chiefs cornerback, though, getting turned around, and he will take it all the way for the score. Sudan wins it 53 to 12. Number three, undefeated new home at Plains. Love end zone. Early on, Brazos Beck taking it up the middle, gets the Leopards on the scoreboard. Next series, Double B going to get a nice gain to bring New Home closer to scoring again. And from there, the Leopards going to go to the air. Jake Fogerson going to haul in this touchdown. New Home gets the 77 to 14 win. Morton at Smyer. Smyer up 6 0, fourth and two. And Preston Moore stopped by Cade Lyon. The Indians will take over. That leads to Dante Chavez firing a perfect strike to EJ Rivas. 23 yard touchdown tied at six. Morton going for two under Coach Malden. A crazy formation. Lane Lyon for two gets it to go. Morton wins it 29 to six. Number two, Lubbock Christian. At number one, First Baptist Academy. Eagles soar early. Luke Lee finding Josh Rogers. Great catch. 6 nothing. love a Christian. Chris Softley's squad going to go for two. And Luke Lee finding his way in to make it 8 nothing. First Baptist, though, with three Division I athletes. Here's one of them. Hunter McCoy. McCoy finding a hole. He will go 70 yards for the touchdown. That put them up 13-8, and Lubbock Christian falls 47-22. More scores and highlights on the morning show, also the extended highlights on Facebook. We got six-man action, couldn't even get to tonight. That's end zone, though. We're always trying to get as many games as we can. I'll give you a couple scores, because that's what I do. Lovington won 43-26 over Albuquerque. We got Luke beating Wilson, 38-14. Guthrie over Patton Springs, 53-0. Have a great weekend. Love you guys.